Hey what's going on guys, welcome to Good Market Games channel and in this video I would like to say a few words about my own stuff like who am I and what am I doing here on YouTube also I would like to guide you through the entire list of playlists on this Good Market Games channel to help you guys kind of uh, create some sort of learning map that you've been requesting for for quite a bit of time in the past and still uh, still this like requests are, are coming to me and finally uh, I would like to describe the appropriate format of our interaction because you know like uh, this channel really makes sense this channel really started ma started making some sense only after this uh, feedbacks and uh, interaction with you guys has occurred actually has started to occur and without this uh, feedbacks without this interaction without our cooperation this wouldn't really probably make that much sense because you know like there is there are there are there are really lots of uh, tutorials but they all are kind of lack of uh, interacting with uh, the creator and the subscribers and uh, me personally kind of consider this to be the most important part ever because otherwise again like I was already mentioned it doesn't, it doesn't really seem to make much sense so uh, a few words about me so I've started uh, I've started programming uh, as a hobby and first I was doing some chess programming and you know like uh, I was fond of C programming language and really liked some low-level stuff some esoteric esoteric programming languages were, were kind of the field of my interest as well so uh, I kind of did start from from the very bottom and then I was climbing upward uh, uh, until uh, finally I realized that I would like to make programming my uh, my actual job actually and start making money on this so uh, I have lots of blog videos describing this process on the different parts of uh, so like when it was in the, in the very beginning and then how it grew and eventually where did it come to uh, while following this sort of a so, sort of an approach so uh, the, uh, now regarding the proficiency skills and the fields of interest so um, it happened that eventually I focused on web scraping and uh, before that I was doing some web development as well but uh, during running this channel it, it appeared that uh, the pure web scraping is considered by you guys to be like the most appropriate topic so I see like you really like my web scraping tutorials so uh, it did even uh, change my entire career uh, path basically so even though I started as a web developer eventually I've kind of qualified to the pure web scraping expert and now I'm trying to uh, in, in dip my knowledge within this field so uh, all that regards kind of web scraping data extraction and uh, things like that is kind of the field of my interest and now why I consider myself to be code monkey king and this is really this might be a really interesting question because you know like um, uh, for those of you who don't know this, uh, I'm a long-term Qigong practitioner and in Chinese practices like Qigong there is a nice way of learning when you just stay uh, behind the teacher who is making some sort of a form set and you just repeat the movements without much understanding of what in particular those movements kind of mean actually. And further on, uh, uh, you're practicing these movements again and again and again, uh, it's slowly happening on your own and eventually you're getting the understanding of what actually you're doing so this is uh, so i've just described the approach the exact approach i'm following uh during uh the process of uh, learning programming in general and i've never i don't have any education at all i didn't uh, go to the college ever uh, i didn't buy any paid programming courses or didn't complete any courses I didn't graduate anything in my life in regards to programming and I just just have the high school education and that's kind of it and I'm really proud of it believe it or not because I believe that uh, the existing systems of education more like uh, do some uh, harm to the human being rather than making something useful to, to it so that that's my personal opinion I'm not encouraging you guys to uh, to share it or, or something. So uh, code monkey can is just because I'm following the principle like monkey see monkey do and that's how I learned literally everything that I, that I know now and that's the way how 
you guys you tell me like I'm teaching you but I don't really consider this process to be teaching because you know like teaching uh, it's like uh, if uh, we stay in front of each other and face to face basically and like I'm saying something and you're trying to get something out of it but uh, th this th that's teaching in my understanding but you know like I'm more considered to be like I'm just making some sort of, of a form set if you say in terms of Chinese Qigong practice so I'm just making my, my web scraping tutorials but you know you know, you know like it's it's you call you call them tutorials I, I don't consider them to be tutorials I'm just making my job basically and I have really lots of real world web scraping projects that I'm uh, where, where I'm working uh, for my freelance clients basically so I'm just uh, doing my job and I'm just explaining what am I doing I'm commanding every single line of code and that, that's what I'm doing even if I'm not ever really recording a video but just if it's just just a just a regular project regular job offers stuff like that so I'm just uh, I'm here just to introduce you the web scraping from within basically so it's not really much about teaching so it's like if you just come somewhere where the master is working you just can stay near and watch what is he doing and eventually you just learn it yourself by by watching by trying to mimic what is he, what he is doing and, and so on and again like uh, when I'm saying master uh, uh, I'm never ever considering my own self to be a master in web scraping because you know like there there are always lots of fields for improvements and even though I have some level and understanding of web scraping still I don't personally consider myself myself to be a master I just I can make some money on web scrape and, and that's kind of pretty enough for me I'm trying to increase my income uh, by increasing my skills and in deepening my knowledge and in deepening my understanding as well but still it seems to be quite uh, to be quite pretty far from from being a master at least in how I imagine a master in my head basically so uh, I guess this is it uh, about me so from now on let's move to uh, the channel playlist overview so let me just uh, minimize this video showing the camera view and go to YouTube so I have uh, now uh, I've filtered the list of my playlist significantly now it's only up to eight uh, eight playlists and it was kind of uh, twice or three times more playlists before I, I make those cleanups so mm, let's actually move uh, through them step by step so uh, I have Python tutorials which is the general Python tutorials and let's, let me just show you this so in this uh, in this list it starts with a beginners Python crash course uh, for web scraping so uh, all you need to know about Python in regards to web scraping like uh, it's mostly like the data structure reference and, and also it involves some basics regarding requesting beautiful soup so at the end of this crash course you will be able to write your very first uh, web scraper really so it assumes that you have uh, an absolute zero of Python knowledge but you're really uh, eager to learn web scraping so this video is just right for you and then uh, I th then in the next video I'm creating the video that wraps the uh, Python request and beautiful soup libraries uh, into some sort of a class that I used to call one time scraper that uh, provides the object oriented approach for uh, writing uh, web scrapers with a, with a request and beautiful soup also I'm converting some basics regarding data structure uh, 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 regarding yeah Python data, data structures basically so we, we would be converting the JSON files to CSV using Python also have a CSV crash course which literally uh, explains all the possible things that you can do with the CSV a standard module of Python also then we have this PDF to CSV data, data conversion a uh, video where we actually work uh, uh, with a PDF file so how, how can we uh, parse that and convert the PDF data to CSV eventually so th 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 this this is it basically so let's move on from now on then we have a web scraping from beginner to advanced tutorials so this playlist already assumes that you have some very some some of the very basic Python knowledge to kick start so um, I would be closing this uh, tabs just uh, to, to yeah just to see like that I've already covered one of them so the web scraping from beginner to advanced tutorials 
has been uh, changed numerous times and uh, at this moment it looks like as, as follows so first uh, uh, I'm introducing the uh, HTML parsing using the bare regular expressions in Python so no dependencies at all so just the bare Python so this might be considered as uh, the further improvement of your applied Python programming skills rather than web scraping but still this might be pretty interesting in, reg in regards to mastering regular expressions in Python and then the video I call this uh, building a minimalist open source web scraping library in bare Python uh, it's kind of uh, yet another try to uh, I, I say yet another because I already had tries like that which were, were, were not really that successful so based on the principle uh, introduced here so based on all this uh, regular expression HTML document parsing uh, uh, I, I'm trying to and actually I do succeed creating a tiny, a tiny web scraping library in bare Python I call this tiny scraper and then the next video introduces the tiny scraper crash course which is again like so this tiny scraper is more like to improve your Python rather than uh, learn web scraping but I consider this uh, intermediate steps to be very useful for those of you guys who really kick sort of from the very scratch without uh, kind of any Python experience like from, from zero to, to hero like they say on Udemy courses right so uh, also I have this advanced uh, tiny scraper tutorial which uh, introduces uh, the full-blown scrapers so here here we would be scraping the famous quotes using tiny scraper library that I've created for this learning purposes and then we go through the request library so this is the most popular beginners library for uh, web scraping and then we would learn how to work with the cookies and heaters to how, how to cover the proxy rotation some basics regarding the beautiful soup the most popular beginners again like uh, parsing library and then uh, we would go through various topics so it's kind of pretty lot of here so you can just check for them uh, on your own self because I don't really want to spend ages, spend ages describing every, everything else within here so ne next we're just going for some sort of a specific web scraping techniques like extracting data from the pagination uh, uh, from infinite scroll uh, how to reference JavaScript variables how to work with the Ajax request scraping images and things like that so let's move on basically so we're done with the web, with uh, from beginners to advanced web scraping tutorials and from now on the next thing to consider is request and beautiful soup web scraping tutorials and uh, these tutorials are already kind of uh, well I used to call them one time scrapers so here we have some real estate property scrapers from the famous uh, portals and then uh, I'm scraping really various websites here uh, also some uh, geocoding and reverse geocoding tutorials are available that I'm um, making use of the nominating OpenStreetMap API also I'm showing some basics regarding extracting emails and phones with uh, uh, from the website context using the regular expressions I have some uh, scraping of the postal codes and this all these projects regards to my real world projects that I've been using uh, in order to um, satisfy my clients basically so I, I was making some complicated web scraping crawlings regarding uh, real estate property sites and I really needed this list of the postal codes in order to be able to actually crawl through those property uh, real estate properties uh, sites there and once great once one interesting video on how to translate phrases using Google Translate API as well okay so uh, this uh, kind of web uh, this uh, request and beautiful soup are kind of mm, really nice to practice because uh, start kicking start with a scrapey uh, it's not really that trivial for beginners so a request and beautiful soup will help you to build a solid base of understanding the uh, essential parts of uh, web scraping actually so making request parts the content and storing this to the output file basically and when you master that you can uh, move to scrapey tutorials which is kind of the very the main playlist on this channel it's uh, the most populated I guess and here uh, I'm sorry and here uh, uh, I'm starting with the very basics regarding Python scrapey framework like uh, I'm demonstrating here I'm demonstrating the patterns and practices I'm 
uh, and the way actually I work with the Scrapey framework because there are numerous patterns available on, on working with that and I personally prefer using the single file for Spider instead of creating the Scrapey projects and I, I, I can see lots of benefits in this sort of an approach and after all uh, this ends up with the Scrapey crash course introducing like uh, uh, the real world like project here and then I'm just uh, making some on-demand tutorials as well uh, on my subscribers demands uh, demands I mean and then later on uh, I'm starting to work uh, to show you uh, how we work on the real world uh, web scraping projects that I get in pay for uh, from one of my clients uh, one of my freelance clients basically so these tutorials are really kind of long so uh, to uh, up to more than two hours basically but they re they really show you the atmosphere of the web development uh, I'm sorry of the web scraping uh, from within basically so uh, this this uh, kind of playlist is supposed to be probably one of my uh, one of the uh, most popular playlist on Kamaki Kins channel. Okay, so let's move on now. Also, I have this Flask tutorials playlist and you know like uh, as I was already mentioning that I didn't really start with web scraping initially so uh, I was working as a web developer uh, on Upwork for, for about a, for about a year basically and I was working I was specify I was kind of uh, specifying here yeah, in uh, in web scraping and I was working with Python and Flask uh, uh, web framework which is the minimalist uh, and really nice and powerful web framework using Python uh, for Python and also it's really interesting uh, to um, you know like um, use both uh, web scraping and the Python uh, web scraping and Python Flask apps uh, together in order to provide some sort of a nice cute user interface to run your web scrapers to invoke them and to manage them as well so that, that that's kind of my experience regarding uh, web development and web scraping uh, in cooperation basically so here I, I go through the very basics of Python flask framework and eventually I'm creating some apps that uh, as I was already mentioned mentioning just kind of uh, unite the web scraping and web development into one uh, in one project so like uh, how to run scrape spider from flask and this like this like things and how to render csv as, as the responsive html table so uh like uh, when we scrape the data then we can just uh, render this to screen so this might be also interesting not only from the web perspective a web programming perspective but also from the web scraping because you know like in order to uh, understand in order to uh, be proficient in web scraping it's really nice to understand how web technologies work in general so uh, what's the difference between the casual route return response value and say the ajax calls which are asynchronous javascript routines there so uh, uh, i'm trying to cover this all this stuff like uh, the very basics regarding this stuff but still it might be really useful for like your kind of, your kind of general education that would allow you to uh, realize kind of how web technologies works and this this would help you to improve the understanding of web scraping process uh, in a greater and deeper details okay so let's move on actually and after the flask tutorials well uh, obfuscated web scraping tutorials I've just started this playlist it only has uh, kind of up to three videos I guess yeah so here I'm demonstrating the uh, techniques of how you can write the entire web scraper crawling through the pages and extracting data and even sometimes uh, going some for some recursive crawlings using the only line of Python co code well I actually started with the two lines but then I, I realized that we can use the only line and first I started uh, implementing this with a request in beautiful soup just as, as an example and then these two tutorials are, are already covering kind of full-blown web scrapers written within the only single line within the scrapey shell which is the nice powerful uh, command line interface tool uh, that goes along with the scrapey framework okay so the next thing uh, uh, helping my subscribers is also a, a big playlist that uh, it, it wasn't really uh, uh, available on this channel even yesterday so I've just created this but uh, I had lots of videos regarding this uh, playlist already and you see like uh, sorry uh, I got really lots of uh, 
videos that that uh, that are entitled like helping my subscriber or help my subscriber is within the title so like I've spent hours to uh, work on the issues that you guys actually send in me via emails and I'm really interested to help you to understand how web scraping works so this uh, playlist is gonna the list of my answers to your request that you're sending me to my email and if you send me uh, some request it might have occurred that it might have happened that uh, your uh, request would uh, occur in the format of the video in this helping my subscribers playlist so feel free to explore it for some sort of a specific questions regarding web scraping and sometimes even regarding the web development as well so here I'm helping helping my subscriber to uh, create a flask app that is running Google search and actually kind of mimicking to Google itself so uh, let's move on basically from here and the very last uh, okay sorry <laughs> we don't uh, we don't already have this all the playlist because <laughs> I've actually deleted the all the playlists so okay Komaki Kins block and uh, this is the playlist uh, I've been talking about uh, at the very beginning of this video so starts from the self-taught programmer success story and what I learned from making a hundred plus programming videos now I have I don't know probably much more than uh, than a hundred of programming videos so this video is pretty, is pretty rare but still and also uh, I'm explaining uh, how to start making money uh, as a freelancer specializing in web scraping tools and jobs overview and here I'm sharing uh, uh, the strategy of using YouTube channel as uh, the source of bring of getting new clients so my web scraping tutorial br brought me an upwork uh, contract with a hourly rate of $25 per hour but later on I've, I've dropped upwork because it's still not really profitable and working directly with the clients avoiding the, those uh, huge upwork fees is way more profitable basically also uh, I'm sharing my thoughts regarding best practices versus, versus real world experience in web scraping so uh, how can we use say the scrapey framework uh, so e either to use the so-called best practices or just using it the way uh, that fits your purposes the best okay uh, selling data versus selling code is an interesting topic where uh, I'm describing like uh, uh, the possibilities of landing a job in the web scraping niche and from no skills to landing a job of your dream is yet another uh, insight from Kodemak again explaining how exactly one could have succeed so if you're searching for, for some sort of a motivation or learning map or how to build your mindset in, uh, in order to get the job of your dream from zero to hero again like they say in Python Udemy courses so this video is just right for you also I have uh, a, li a little sketch on I can get a job with no experience that I can get experience without getting a job so how to escape this sort of a dilemma and again like Code Mike Kings, uh, approach to this is, is available in that sort of a video and uh, one of my latest videos like the difference between the Eastern and the Western consciousness in regards to web scraping and you know, like the most uh, 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 mostly my community uh, um, it, it consists of uh, kind of Eastern people like from India from Pakistan uh, from uh, s s some Ar Arabian uh, countries as well so uh, not, not really th that much of kind of uh, Americans or British people of, or European people are, are watching my channel they, they do but uh, they 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 are not within the major part actually so uh, that's kind of it and also one of my mm, uh, one of my achievements here so finally my subscriber did successfully start his freelancing career on Upwork thanks to following the tutorials on this Code Monkey Kings channel. So this was one of my recent goals actually. So I was trying to uh, kind of uh, do anything possible to uh, lead you guys from kind of no experience to learning a job. So here is, I, I get at least one example, uh, one successful example of a guy who actually uh, mastered web scraping basing on my videos and eventually got a job in Upwork and even uh, he even got an hourly pay contract believe it or not and he started his freelancing career 
so th this is kind of it basically and I guess this is it regarding the channel guidelines so uh, I guess I can bring my uh, video camera uh, camera view back so the very last thing to talk about is the proper formats of uh, our interaction guys I know like uh, Mm, uh, now I have uh, exactly three ways of interaction uh, but even kind of a couple of days ago I had only two so I had only the free web scripting tutorials help requests and you know like so kind of free part and the pay part but the pay part was uh, uh, it, it did regard to the job offers from the clients you know like startups or some big clients uh, with a long term uh, or job offers basically uh, but uh, eventually uh, I came to the need of creating some intermediate part uh, because uh, uh, la for, for the last time I'm getting really numerous uh, requests from you guys and really lots of questions that you're asking me and on the way on the one hand I really appreciate that uh, a lot but on the other hand you know like uh, I, I was trying to uh, I, I was even making the videos on how to request uh, the web scraping tutorial in proper way, how to ask questions in proper way, but uh, I, it seems like the most of you guys either ignored this or just didn't ever watch those videos. So uh, here I would like to tell this one more time, I'm not sure if this is going to be the very last time uh, I'm talking about this ever, but still. So uh, I would like to describe uh, the difference between these three uh, formats of interacting. So uh, when exactly you will get the free help for uh, in, a, in a format of web, or for web scraping tutorial or uh, I will just answer your question via, via email or uh, what exactly I mean by asking for help uh, with your projects and this one is would be already a paid service and job offers is a paid service as well so let me just try to uh, move through this sort of uh, way uh, forms of the interaction to make the things clear so the very first a way of interaction is, is the most popular it's the free interaction with Komaki King where, where when you where uh, the result in uh, uh, where uh, uh, the result in activity of me after kind of uh, uh, while uh, trying to answer your either request or question uh, so uh, it ends up with uh, another video that I make that populates this play playlist uh, probably I already closed that the playlist of helping my subscribers so uh, this helping my subscribers videos uh, is the free help that I'm providing you guys and even though that some of you guys uh, uh, really uh, donated me via patreon and thank thanks thank you guys for doing that I really appreciate that but still this kind of uh, playlist involves uh, uh, an absolutely free uh, web scraping uh, help basically so uh, I would like to describe how what exactly you may ask and how exactly you need to ask uh, in order to get a free help so uh, first you can request a web scraping tutorial which means if you say what if say you want me to scrape some sort of a site and you need to provide the URL or the range of URLs in case if uh, we need to scrape the data from multiple pages or things like that and if we need to see if we need to scrape the data recursively from say every page uh, in that case that should have been specified as well in, a, in an explicit way so to avoid me spending time uh, on guessing what exactly you meant and this is a very important uh, topic and point uh, I'd like to emphasize even more just in a few seconds so uh, also you need to provide the list of columns or items or features col column however you want to scrape so say you want to scrape name description title price whatever uh, attribute uh, so uh, if the task is really clear and uh, if it takes me you know like for about one two hours to complete that's kind of uh, fine and okay so that's something that I'm happy to do for free because uh, it helps me to improve the content of this channel and uh, not only you giving me the feedback but uh, an opportunity of for about the opportunity for me to give you the feedbacks as well is really tempting so I really like when you guys provided me some really nice 
uh, questions and uh, web scraping tutorials on demand requests uh, that helps uh, actually improve in the content of this channel so that's kind of uh, the very first and free uh, part so uh, uh, even though I've just described how exactly your request should have looked like uh, I would like to mention the very main uh, thing regarding this format so uh, I'm doing things for free only in case if you respect my time and remember that respect uh, when I say respect my time it's kind of all the capital letters because it's the most important thing here you know, like because I'm getting lots of emails like saying please have a look at my code and what can you say about this or my code is not working please fix it you know like uh, I'm not uh, uh, I'm not a magician to, uh, you know, like uh, making your dreams come true on demand for free. You know, like uh, web help is kind of on the one hand, but uh, when uh, you stop respecting my time and uh, really start torturing me with uh, uh, that, that, those like requests, it's not uh, yet uh, a free format anymore. So it always it often happens that you send me some sort of request that takes me. I don't know, all from three to four hours only to get the idea of what in particular do you actually mean. And then when it, finally I realized what did you mean, I need to spend five, six hours more to actually find a proper solution for that. And then a couple of hours to make uh, a deliverable, say in format of video or something. So that's a little bit too much for a free service. So I hope you understand that, guys, because uh, one thing that... Uh, you're making a clear uh, request and you want uh, uh, to get some, some, something simple in, in return, I'll, I'm happy to help for free, but uh, if it takes me really uh, entire day to process your request and uh, assuming that I'm getting really lots of this like requests, so I, I can open my email and I get say 10 requests uh, after, the, after the single night uh, passed basically. So. Uh, if I would be doing this uh, process in this request for free, I won't really have time to make my real world job offers and uh, I won't be able to pay my bills basically. So, uh, again, like uh, I ask you guys to respect my time. So, uh, that's the reason actually why the second uh, kind of uh, format in between format of asking for help with your projects has appeared actually. So, um, uh, if you understand that. Uh, answering your question or uh, uh, digging into your project uh, issues or ideas takes my time uh, you need to pay for that and I'm not telling about like a uh, hundred bucks for a scraper like uh, like I'm charging my clients for the real world web scraping jobs I mean like from say from one to ten to fifteen dollars per question uh, depending on how long does it take me to dive into that a particular issue that uh, you encounter so um, this uh, uh, this would help you guys uh, not torture me uh, for nothing basically and you know like uh, if you're asking a question and say you consider your question to be a free question and if I can if I consider it to be a paid one I will just kind of tell you that okay guys I don't mind to uh, like okay I don't mind to help you uh, with this sort of an issue but you need to pay say five dollars to my patreon account and in that case I would answer you or I would help you or I would, or I would make a video for your things like that so uh, not because it's hard not because it's you know like kind of it's it's, it's not the cost for the job it uh, uh, it's the cost uh, for my time basically for the time that I'm spending uh, to process your request that are not that clear actually or it takes too long time to to understand and I and I understand that there are lots of students among you guys who learning and who don't really have enough money yet to pay but still like uh, even if you pay one two or five dollars or ten dollars that uh, that already shows that you actually respect my time and this is a very important part here and the very last uh, part that doesn't really need that much of introduction because uh, I'm getting pretty enough uh, real-world job offers uh, from the YouTube from the clients that eventually found uh, that found me on YouTube and mm, those clients are mostly startups and uh, the, the very minimal uh, price that I'm starting uh, to work on the real-world project is uh, $50 
and well but obviously fifty dollars is just a, a simple scraper basically but when we, when we want to crawl the entire site was uh, involving some recursive crawlings and where we're scraping the massive data sets involving like up to I don't know 10 12 features so uh, it, also it might contain some nested data so in this case uh, the price for the scraper starts from hundred dollars per one so uh, obviously all this sort of a uh, uh, tiny little details are about to be negotiated via email so that that's kind of it also uh, so we did cover this three, three formats and now I just uh, like I would like to say a couple of words uh, uh, regarding some services that I actually do not provide so some of you guys uh, uh, often ask me for say a private Python lessons or private web scraping lessons or trying to guide you uh, in your learning purpose so uh, I'm not a teacher I'm not a mentor so uh, I'm not providing this like services uh, not because I can but uh, because you know like I don't feel like uh, myself to be the appropriate person for that sort of a services because um, I'm not responsible for uh, I can't uh, take the responsibility on what you learn and how exactly you learn you know like even though the things that I'm doing and even though the approach I'm following uh, is being described say uh, in my blog videos still uh, it's not really that simple as it might have appeared so uh, even though I did learn everything uh, myself from scratch still I have I have a pretty solid uh, basics uh, in low-level programming so uh, it doesn't really mean that I can write some fantastic C or, or assembly code but uh, even though I can but that that more like means that I understand how these variables functions uh classes uh, work on the lowest level you know like from the uh, uh the memory uh memory addresses perspective and things like that so arrays and pointers if you're the familiar if you're familiar with some sort of a c programming theories and uh, practices as well so uh understanding those basics uh is really important and if you just want to quickly learn Python and start start web scraping from scratch and getting money already it's really cool and this channel uh, definitely would help you but there is a big difference because when you just uh, grab uh, the this kind of mm, ready-made product of uh, skills uh, in the format of skills that you can exchange on some sort of an income it's one story but that's a completely different story if you're if, if we're talking about the the very basics and essentials of programming in general so uh, just to illustrate what I'm what am I talking about right in the moment you know like uh, quite often it happens that I'm getting an emails uh, say uh, like a man can ask me like uh, I have a problem with the recursive web scraping could you please help me and then it turns out that he doesn't have a problem with the recursive web scraping he has a problem with the understanding of for loops and if you're looking over uh, over the in the range of the indexes you can't really change the index uh, because otherwise you, you'll exhaust your loop uh, way faster than you uh, supposed uh, that you that you're supposed to be actually and the same stuff like I got another email uh, where the guy was asking me like uh, uh, I don't need to scrape all the articles but I need just to scrape those articles that are within the range of, uh, of dates from say date 1 to date 2 and again like he said like I have a web scraping issue it's not a web scraping issue it's the issue is the matter of understanding the, the conditional operators in Python not in Python in programming in general so you know like uh, I understand I understand that this might be uh, quite a bit offending uh, from time to time but you know you know like uh, having this essential basics of uh, understanding the bare programming regardless of programming language uh, really matters and the way how I did obtain this knowledge uh, I you know like uh, I was trying to share this things with you guys as well but it turns out that you are, are completely not interested in the way how I am doing this so that's the reason for my decision to not ever providing some sort of a 
uh, educational services so I'm not providing like uh, one-to-one -one Skype calls or things like that or, or mentoring or something so uh, if you ask a question obviously I can answer I can share my experience but again I, I'm not responsible for your learning path I'm just uh, giving you uh, an ability an opportunity to uh, stay apart and try to follow the process uh, of making this uh, in income on web scraping from the empty file and after the ready uh, source code that uh, I'm sending to my clients. So please check out my real world web scraping projects to see how exactly this is happening. So this is it, guys. Uh, and also, again, like uh, obviously, my email is available uh, within the about section uh, of this channel. But for those of you who don't know that, you can uh, see my email on screen. Uh, in the very uh, bottom right over here so freesub.for.people at gmail.com so please feel free to mail me uh, uh, the only request from my site so I want to make sure that you understand like uh, which part of this uh, formats you're about to consider so if you want this uh, free web scraping so uh, guys usually entitle this uh, emails uh, like uh, web scraping web scraping help needed so that's if you want this for free so just you're asking for help and if you're asking for help with your projects even though it seems like the help is like kind of help again but uh, you know like uh, mm, you can entitle this uh, kind of paid paid question or a question to be donated so ju just uh, to make it clear that you understand that answering your email takes my time and you're ready to donate a couple of dollars uh, to me uh, to get an uh, to get a decent answer for your question and obviously if this is a job offer but again it's, uh, clients uh, uh, always specify that they want to hire you so it's, it's not a problem there anymore so uh, I hope this this is now clear so also uh, my email would be mail uh, would be available in the, in the description below this video so you can simply copy paste it and use in your own uh, email service you're get used to so this is it from my side guys uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something interesting out of it so I hope the format uh, of interacting with code Mac again is uh, a way uh, more clear now uh, and I hope that the structure of this channel is also more or less just kind of clear so I wish you all the best guys until the next time and take care